everyone, today I would like to announce that my Patreon will now include maps and assets for every new series that I will start. For this Pet Simulator X series, my Patreon now has all of the scripts in the game, this map that has three areas, and this asset pack that includes all of these pets and assets that you see right here, that will help you with your simulator. If you guys are interested, all of this is available on my Patreon in the Tundal tier. The link will be in the description and the pinned comment. And by the way, this map and all of these assets were made by Wulazi. Follow him on Twitter at Wulazi1. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is make it so that whenever you click a drop, this uh, the health display billboard GUI will be enabled. And whenever you uh, unsend your pet, it will be disabled. So what, what I have gone ahead and did is I select I typed in um, health display and I selected all of the health display billboards and I made sure that enabled is unchecked. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for this one. So just uncheck enabled. And what I'm gonna do is go to server script service main server, enter the script, and scroll all the way down to where we are looping through the drops. And what I'm going to do is go to the remote folder, and I'm going to add a remote event, and I'm going to call it, I'm going to call it, um, trigger or toggle billboard. Now what I'm going to do is whenever we set the center value to the drop, what I'm going to do is game dot replicated storage dot remote dot trigger billboard dot uh, trigger billboard or is it uh, oh it was toggle billboard colon fire client and that's going to take the player and the drop itself and it's also going to take whether or not we want it to be enabled or disabled but in this instance we want it to be uh, enabled so true and i'm going to copy this line of code and whenever we are setting this to the drop we're going to paste that in and now we are going to paste it in here. But what I'm going to do is this time it's going to be false. And I'm going to enter the uh, main client script. And I'm going to scroll down. And right here I'm going to uh, type in remotes dot. Okay, so remotes dot. Um, I think it was toggle billboard dot on client event colon event function colon connect function. And that's going to take the drop, and it's also going to take a boolean. So bool, uh, and what we need to do is drop dot health, health display dot enabled is equal to, and it's going to be the bool value. So bool. Now what I'm going to do is copy this line of code, and I'm going to do the same thing when we destroy the drop and respawn it. So whenever we respawn it, we need to set the enabled property of the health display to false. Now I'm going to play the game and see if this is going to work. So I already hatched some pets, so I have a cat right here. So what I'm going to do is just send it here and as you can see it's now enabled. And when it goes down, actually I'm going to unsend the cat and now it's disabled and it's enabled again. And when it destroys, it should be enabled when disabled when it respawns. Okay, so we know that this works. Okay, so now we need to display what pets are inside each egg. So what I'm gonna do is select my egg model or mesh, and I'm going to press the plus icon, and I'm going to create a billboard GY. And I'm going to set the size of this billboard GY, so size to something like Z, like, uh, Maybe 20, 0, 20, 0. And I'm going to... Okay, so now we need to set its adorny to the egg itself. And I'm going to add a frame to it. Now this frame, the size of this frame is going to be um, 0 0.3, 0, 0, 0 0.5 or maybe 0 0.3, 0. And I'm going to position it. Actually, I'm, I'm going to resize it. So uh, maybe 0.4. Actually, that's a bit too big. So 0 0.3, 3.5, or 3.4. 
Okay, that's perfect. So what I'm going to do now is position it. Actually, I'm going to set its anchor point to 0 0.5. And what I need to do now is set its position to 0 0.5 comma 0 comma 0 0.5 comma 0. And now it's in the middle and make sure that always on top. So where is always on top on the billboard GUI, not the frame is checked. And now I'm going to mess around with the position of this frame. So position maybe 0 0.5. Um, 2 or 0 0.1 and now we're gonna need to rescale the entire thing so size uh, maybe 30 and now we can scale down the frame so point um, point two nine and position 0 0.2 and size, resize it down again, so 0.23. Uh, okay, I think that this is perfect. So what I'm gonna do is, actually we need to position it a bit more uh, down, so 0 0.3 or 0.25. Okay, I think that this is, this is the settings that we are gonna need. And what I'm gonna do now is add a UI corner to it and I'm going to set its corner radius to 0 0.1 comma 0 or 0 0.05 comma 0 and what I'm going to do now is add a UI gradient to it so gradient and I'm going to set its rotation to 90 degrees and I'm going to change its color to okay so color uh, from a nice dark blue dark blue to a lighter blue Okay, I think that this is good enough for now. Or maybe we can just make it white. So from from white to a dark gray or light gray. And I think that looks good. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to add a a um, UI grid layout to it, and I'm going to add a text button or maybe a yeah a text button would be good i'm going to change its size so actually i'm going to change its color so just set its border size pixel to zero and i'm going to add a ui corner to it and i'm going to set the corner radius to 0 0.1 comma zero and then or maybe okay that's good um then i'm going to change the text to nothing and then I'm going to um, change the color. So I'm going to add a UI gradient again. And I'm going to make the color uh, go from... Okay, so maybe this time it's going to be from bl okay, blue to a little bit of a darker blue or a lighter one. Okay, I think that this... I think that this is good enough so i'm going to rotate it again so 90 degrees and now what we need to do is select the ui grid layout and i'm going to change the uh, fill direction to actually it's called horizontal alignment to center and the vertical alignment to center now i'm going to change the size of my button so actually we need to do that from the UI grid layout so cell size uh, offset 0 offset 0 on the Y and on the scale for the X it's gonna be point, uh, point 0.3 or maybe okay point 0.3 and for the Y I think it's going to be point 0.2 or point 0.3 again on the actually point okay so point 0.25 on the Y or maybe point to 9 on the y and point point 0.4 on the actually point i think i think point 0.3 was good so point 0.25 on the y and how many can we fill now okay that's good enough so we can have uh that many pets okay now what i'm gonna do is actually i'm gonna go to the ui grid layout again and I'm going to change the cell padding from scale to offset, from uh, offset to scale. So I'm going to have multiple 
uh, cells and I'm going to select my Y grid layout and I'm going to change the uh, scale, the offset to zero and the offset to zero on the, set pa on the cell pattern too. And now we need to change the scale. So I'm going to have it at 0 0.05 or 0 0.02. And on the Y, 0 .0, 0 .0, uh, 0.01 or 0 0.02. Okay, that's perfect. Okay. Now, I'm, I'm just going to get rid of most of these and I'm going to only leave one. And I don't think that's a perfect square. So, I'm just going to go back to the size on the Y and I think this should be 0 0.26. Okay, 0.264. Okay, now that's perfect. Now, what I'm going to do is rename this to template. And I'm going to have a frame inside of it. And the size of this frame will be 1, 0, 1, 0. And the background transparency will be 1. And we need to rename this to viewport. Now, what we need to do is... Okay, so we've done that. Now we need a uh, text label to display the rarity. So size, uh, one comma zero comma uh, zero point three comma zero. Now I'm going to position it downwards. So the position this will be a one, or maybe zero point uh, zero point uh, five, or zero point six or seven. Okay, seven is good. Now background transparency to 1 and I'm going to change the text scale prop property to true and the text color 3 to a nice white and the text okay so the font should be for doka one so where is it for doka one and the okay so we've done that and we need to change the text to maybe 10% just for now just so that we can see how it will look and i think it looks pretty good uh maybe a bit bigger so the size of the text label point uh four but changing the size means that actually i'm just going to put it back i think that that's just good enough okay so this will be a chance chance label and I'm just going to rename this to main frame. And now I'm going to rename this to egg billboard. Now we can just uh, cut this. So right click and cut. And I'm going to scroll down. And inside of the X client, I'm going to paste that in. Okay, so what we need to do now is whenever the player joins, Hmm, actually what I'm gonna do is cut this and put it inside all of the eggs by default. So right click paste into selected. And uh, the Adorni, make sure that this is just nil. So that each model is, is gonna have its own uh, billboard GY. And I'm going to make sure that the template that we have inside of each one of them is invisible. So just select all of your templates by holding down control and just to make sure that visible is unchecked. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is and disable all of these billboards. So enabled, false. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have, we're gonna enter our, uh, uh, where is it, X client script. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to have a function called open and close billboard. And this will take the billboard and whether we want to open it or close it. So I'm just going to call it bool. And what we're going to do is uh, if, if uh, bool then and not is hatching then. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a variable up here called is hatching. And it's going to be set to false. Now, what we need to do is else, and I'm going to scroll down to whenever we hatch the egg, and when we hatch it, we need to set is hatching to true, 
and when we stop hatching, is hatching will be false. Okay, so now we're gonna go up here, and whenever we do this, we're gonna do billboard dot enabled, and enabled, enabled is equal to true, and then we need to have a tween. So tween is equal to tween service comma create, and that's going to take the billboard itself, and then tween info tween info dot new and it's going to be 0 0.2 uh comma enum dot is in style dot sign maybe uh comma enum dot is in direction dot out and then we're gonna set its size so comma uh curly brackets size is equal to and when we open it so where is it so uh bool uh i'm pretty sure we set the size Okay, so use m2, use m2 dot from scale, so we have the x set to 20. This will depend on what your billboard size is, uh, comma, and 30. And now we need to play this tween, so drop a line and tween column play. Now we're going to copy all of this, paste it right here, and we're going to set this to false. Actually, tr it's still going to be true, but okay, so we're going to close it. And then when we play the tween, we need to change its size this time to from using two dot from scale zero comma zero. And then we need to wait 0 0.2 seconds. So task dot wait 0 0.2 seconds. And then when this tween is completed, then we will well uh, billboard dot enabled uh, is equal to false. But I think what I'm gonna do is instead of using tween the task dot wait zero point two, we're gonna do tween tween dot completed con con wait. And in here we need to change this to zero point one because I think it will look better. Okay, so what we need to do now is uh, figure out when we should call this function. So I think I know how to do that. I'm gonna go down here and run service dot heartbeat colon connect function and what i'm going to do is i'm going to loop through every single egg so for underscore comma egg in pairs eggs colon get children do if egg colon is a base part then what we need to do is local character do we have the character no so local character so what we're doing is looping through every single egg and uh we're gonna get the character so player dot character or player dot character added on wait and we're gonna check if the character is there so if character then so if the character is there then what we need to do is check if the uh, distance between the character and the uh, egg is less than 15 studs so if uh, brackets and uh, character dot primary part so dot humanoid root part dot position uh, minus egg dot position dot magnitude make sure to type dot magnitude outside of the brackets so dot magnitude is less or equal to 15 studs then what we're gonna do is open or close billboard and it's going to take the uh, egg dot egg billboard comma true so we're gonna open it else uh, open or clo and close billboard but this time it's going to be false okay so this should work so I'm gonna go ahead and try this out for myself so play the game I'm going to view the output to make sure that, that everything works. And when I get close to an egg, it should pop that up and it should close. But I think that the closing is way too fast. So I'm going to go back here and make sure that it's set to 0 0.2. And now I'm going to play the game and see if this is any better. So when we get close to it, it should pop it up and yeah that's way too fast and what we need to do is whenever we we wait for the tween to be completed we're gonna task.wait 0.4 seconds again 
So I think this should fix that uh, flickering glitch that we have. Okay, this is a lot smoother, but 0 0.2 is way too much. So 0 0.1. And now this is going to look a lot better. Okay, so, yep, as you can see, this is a lot smoother. And it looks really good. Okay, that's that's good. Now, what I'm going to do is make sure that the uh, proximity prompt, so proximity prompt, I'm going to make sure that it's... Uh, that the distance is 15 so same as the uh, um, billboard so make sure that the max activation distance is 15 on all of them and what, what we need to do is make it so that the uh, it, so that it displays the price of the egg itself so to do that it's very simple all we need to do is uh, enter our main client script or actually we have, okay, so enter X server. And what we need to do when we look through the X. Okay, so we're gonna require a module. So local um, format format module is equal to uh, require replicator storage dot format number alt. And what I'm gonna do is, um, okay, so egg.proximity prompt okay so egg.proximity prompt dot uh i think it was it wasn't action text what, what was it i think it's called okay so it's okay where is it so action text is open but i'm pretty sure there was another thing object text yes so what i'm gonna do is uh the action text first so action text is equal to uh number alt so uh format number format number dot format compact and that's going to take the x price so hmm when i put these outside of here and it's going to be uh price and then egg dot object text dot object text will be open. Now this should look pretty good and I'm gonna see if our eggs will still work after this. So I'm gonna play the game and it should display the price of each egg. And it, it only says open so that does not work. So object text is not a valid number of uh winner egg oh it was egg dot proximity prompt proximity prompt now this should hopefully work and as you can see it says 500 and open and this one is 1.5k and this one is 3.5k okay so that does work now what we need to do is just uh, clone templates so let's do that by just going to where is it so i'm going to enter my okay where is it uh okay so i think i know how to do this i'm going to enter x client and when we are looping through the eggs are we even looping through the eggs Okay, so we are not looping through the eggs. So I'm going to do that right here. So for underscore, comma, v, in, comma, egg, in pairs, eggs, colon, get children, do if egg, colon, is a base part. Then, so if the egg is a base part, then what, sh what we should do is get the all of the eggs pets so i think we are doing that here okay so we are not doing that okay so local egg data is equal to require egg dot egg data i think or data what was it oh did i just delete something yeah i did okay i want to go back so we have a uh module called data so data 
So we're going to require this. And local pets is equal to... Okay, so local egg pets, not pets, is equal to egg data dot pets. Let's enter the egg data thing. And as you can see, we have egg pets, not pets. So dot egg pets. And what we need to do is loop through the egg pets. So for underscore comma pet in pairs egg pets do let's see the way we are doing that from egg server so we just okay so pets table okay that's simple enough we're gonna work with that so we are just getting the pets table okay so pet okay so print pet we're just gonna print pet dot uh, pet name we're gonna see what that returns so it should give us nil okay so it gave us nil so we're gonna see how to fix that okay so i fixed it all i have to do is print pet square back as pet name so what i'm gonna do is a local template is equal to uh egg dot billboard dot uh egg billboard sorry egg billboard dot uh, template common clone uh, and when we clone it so template dot name is equal to pet square brackets uh, pet name so pet name and then we need to get the actual pet model so pet model is equal to pets uh, common find first child pet square brackets pet name And then template dot parent is equal to egg dot egg bill board. And what I'm gonna do is um, I'm going to go up here to this. So create template. And I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to copy this entire code. And by the way, this is what I just copied. Create template, just copy this and scroll down here and just paste that in and template it's going to be template this time or new maybe new template new template so just change this to new template sorry so new template go and wait for child uh, that and we are just going to change this to pet model and this should work so now what i'm going to do is just task dot wait uh, three two seconds before doing this so we're gonna play the game now and we're gonna see if this works that's so two seconds one two we have nothing so template is not a valid member of egg billboard okay that's very simple to fix uh it's egg billboard dot mainframe dot template and also we need to make sure that new template dot visible is equal to true now this is going to work. Maybe. Okay, so it did work, but it did not parent them correctly. So we need to pause the game. And when we parent it, it should be dot main frame. And we also need to do one more thing, which is uh, change the... Hmm. Okay, actually, this is going to work let's see so when i go here as you can see it did do this but it does not display anything and that's i think this is simple to fix i think what's causing this is like i'm gonna go to the main folder workspace eggs uh, basic egg uh egg billboard cat and i'm just going to go to viewport and i'm going to change the z index to two okay so this does not work and i think i know why whenever you whenever you are doing this i think you should clone the uh... oh okay okay let's fix this uh we have to create a folder inside of star gy and it's going to be called egg bill boards 
now when we are doing this we will okay so when we are looking through all of the egg billboards i'm gonna do lo we're gonna do egg billboard okay so local billboard or maybe okay so local billboard is equal to egg dot egg billboard and we're gonna do bill billboard parent is equal to player gy player gy so we need a reference to player gy okay so local player gy is equal to and player comma wait for child player gy now we're gonna go down here and player gy uh, dot parent is equal to player gy and when we parent it to player gy um we just need to billboard okay so billboard adorny is equal to egg and i think this should work this time so i'm gonna wait two seconds and we have a problem uh open and close this is not okay this is not good but I think it's easy to fix. All we need to do is instead of looping through the eggs, we need to be looping through uh, the billboard. So so for underscore comma billboard in pairs, all this. So if this one is a billboard GY, so just do what I'm doing. So change this to billboard, change this to billboard. And now this is going to be egg dot position. So billboard dot adorny dot position dot magnitude okay this should work okay so no errors actually error uh egg dot billboard oh same thing again so just change this to billboard dot mainframe clone clone and change this to billboard dot mainframe and now you can play the game and now this is gonna work uh okay nothing works i'm gonna work on fixing this and i'll be back okay so i fixed everything and all i had to do was change the, okay so in the heartbeat what i did was change the in pairs to uh okay so i did player gy dot egg billboards colon get children instead of eggs colon get children and i also what else did i did did i do so uh yeah, I changed this to billboard.adorny.position. And then down here, what I did is parent this to playergy.eggbillboards. So eggbillboard.parent is equal to playergy.eggbillboards, not playergy. And now everything works fine. So if you play the game now, after a bit of seconds, as you can see, this works. But we need to show the rarities. Or the chances of getting each pet so we just need to change this okay so pet actually new template dot text dot uh, chance label chance label dot text is equal to and it's going to be egg data dot and i think or well, actually it's gonna be a uh, pet square brackets and i think it was chance And now this should work. But I, what I forgot to do is also uh, dot dot percentage sign. So dot dot percentage sign. And if you play the game now, then this should work. So as you can see, now it does show the percentages and everything works fine. Okay, so now I need to make it so that whenever you, uh, so that you can't hatch an egg if you don't have the area where the egg is in. So, what I'm gonna do is just, where is it? So, I'm going to have a, a, uh, string value ins inside of each egg, or actually just go inside of the data. A data script itself and do egg uh, egg area and this one is going to be area zero 
because it's the basic gag and make sure to add to add the comma now i'm going to do this for all of them so the stone egg for me is area two and the winter egg is area one and now this should work now we also need to enter our eggs server and whenever we press this what we need to do is just check if player dot coin dot uh, areas dot valid dot confines first child confines first child egg egg data dot uh, egg area then then we're gonna do all of this So now, if I do not own the area, I should not be able to buy the egg. So I do own this area, so I should be able to hatch this egg. But, okay, so something is wrong with the egg hatching, so we need to fix this. So pet model is equal to pets, can find with child chosen pet dot pet name. Okay. Okay, so the reason why uh, the eggs are not working anymore is because model should be uh this common clone by the way this is on the uh loop through the eggs on the client and now we should be able to hatch the egg so now i should be able to hatch this one but i should not be able to hatch the winter egg as you can see i can't and i can't hatch this one too so this works so what we need to do now is game passes Okay, so here I am in the Euroblox website, and what I'm gonna do is show you how to create a game pass. So go to the create tab on Euroblox, click on it, and then go to your experience or game, and then go to store and press add pass. Now we're gonna press choose file and just choose an image. You can't see what I'm doing, but it's going to prompt up the file explorer if you have a Windows PC and just just choose a random image i'm just going to try to find one and okay so i'm going to choose one real quick okay so i chose my profile picture and now you are going to uh type in your game pass name so for me it's times two uh walk speed times two speed and you're gonna give it a description. So for me, it's just going to be doubles your walk speed, your walking speed. Okay, so then you hit preview, then wait for it and verify upload. Now you can go to configure. So press the uh, cog wheel and just press configure and go to sales and item for sale and give it a price so for me it's going to be one robux and just press save and go to details now you're gonna want to get your game pass id so to do that i'm going to show you how to do that right now so your game pass id is this string of numbers that are right here so just double click on the numbers select them from the link right click and press copy now you can save those numbers numbers somewhere so for me it's just going to be my notepad Okay, so now we need to go to Roblox Studio and what I'm going to do is enter my... I'm going to create a new script actually and I'm going to call it uh, Marketplace. And I'm going to get Marketplace Service, so local NPS is equal to game, colon get service, Marketplace Service. And local players is equal to game, colon, colon get service, get service players. And what we need to do is players.player added to colon connect function. And it's we're gonna take the player. And what we're gonna do is if so char player dot character added dot character added colon connect function. And that's going to take the character. And we need to check uh, if marketplace service colon user owns game pass async and we're gonna take the player's user ID, so player.user ID, comma, and the game pass ID. So 
times walk speed is this ID. So type in your game pass ID that you just got. And then what we're going to do is just print player.name dot dot as two times walk speed. And then we just, we are just going to do character dot humanoid dot walk speed walk speed is equal to and 32 instead of 16 so I'm, I'm just going to double check that it's actually humanoid walk speed so i'm just going to add a humanoid to the workspace and i'm just going to check so i'm pretty sure it's called walk speed without a capital capital s oh no it does have a capital s so walk speed with a capital s now we're gonna play the game and because i own that game pass i should be able to walk really fast so i own that game pass so i'm able to work to walk two times faster than other players now we need to make a two times coins game pass okay so i went ahead and created a brand new uh game pass and i called it two times coins so and i also got the id and i put it on my notepad and I copied it. So now what we need to do is check if MPS called user owns game pass async player.user ID. And this time it's going to be uh, the other game pass ID. Then what we need to do is uh, player dot coin multiplier. Where is it? So I'm pretty sure we have a value. Okay, so player.values. Okay, so we do not have that. So I'm going to add a uh, int value and it's going to be coin called coin multiplier. And what we're going to do is player.coin multiplier. So player.coin multiplier dot value is equal to two. And by the way, make sure that the default value is one. Okay, so now what we need to do is enter our main server script. And when we are awarding the player, award on destroy, so we must award on destroy. When we do that, what we need to do is the reward should be method around that divided by five. And we are going to uh, multiply it by, by uh, how much by uh, the uh, coin multiplier. So player.values.coin multiplier dot value and i think that this should work now all we need to do is just okay so i need to enter my data save script and i'm going to uh reset my data store key again and i'm going to play the game and i should be able to get twice as much as many coins as i used to get so coin multiplier is one and i actually own the game pass so i'm gonna see what's wrong with this and coin multiplier is not a valid member of player's proc very easy to fix just change this to player dot uh, values dot coin multiplier and now you can play the game okay so now i should have okay so values coin multiplier it should be two this time and i'm going to get a pet Wait for it to hatch. I got a dog. Now I'm going to equip it. I don't know why my game is lagging. I think it's because I'm recording. So now I'm going to play the game. And send the pet. And I should be able to get twice as many coins as I, as I was supposed to get. So I'm just going to wait for it to destroy. And let's see. So I'm going to collect one. And it gave me 40 coins. So now, as you can see, I got 49,700 coins. Now, if our coin multiplier was uh, 1, which I'm going to do right now. So, values coin multiplier. And if it was 1, then we should only be able to get 350 coins or something like that. So, I'm just going to wait for this to destroy. 
And as you can see, we only got 100 coins, which is kind of weird. Actually, I think it's because I destroyed a bigger coin drop. Okay, so what we need to do now is... Uh, actually, I think that's it for game passes. Okay, so I think that's going to be it for today's tutorial. If this helped, please subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!